Okay, my friends. Summer is coming. Today it's a beautiful day here in Germany. It's sunny. It's a mild wind. I was already out enjoying life. And I've been thinking about getting a bit more active this year, like I always do. You know, the thing is, I have I have a routine. I have a a circle of life. And my circle is towards the end of the last year or towards the beginning of the next year. I feel like I have to get active. Usually I then sign up for a gym membership. And then after a month, I'm getting tired of that and I don't want to go anymore. Then I cancel said gym membership if I can. That's something I have to do. Still, I have to cancel mine. Anyways, so last year then, in the summer, I bought myself these. I know they look like I bought them yesterday. The reason for that is I've not used them outside once. You need really like flat surface and like even surface and like you know the thing is that I don't have that and so like not around here and I'm too lazy to get on a bus with those and go, go somewhere where I can use those and also I don't want to go somewhere where there's a lot of people because I don't want to embarrass myself because I absolutely cannot fucking drive on those so I bought them and I think they're so cute and now they're very decorative in my bedroom mm, I also really would love to go swimming more mm, because you know I have one of those fins like mermaid fins but it's not one of those colorful ones it's more like a sporty one like those mono fins basically just just the fin not the fabric for the legs just the fin and it i used it once or twice already and it's so much fun and it's a, it's such a full body workout it really is but the thing is that here where i live um swim mathis are all owned by one company and so Therefore, they can make the prizes the fuck all they want to. And so, it's quite expensive going regularly into the swim bath for, like, sports reasons. So, and if I wanted to use that, like, getting in shape, I would have to go at least, at least twice a week. Like, come on, of course you do. But twice a week, like, I would at least then pay 60 bucks a month for swimming and that's too much right now for me can't afford that yeah that was also one of my plans you can also go into a gym of course that has a swim bath a pool whatever you want to call it but you know how expensive that is. And then in the summer, everyone who's in that gym wants to go into that pool. And like, there's no way, like, no. Mm -mm. I just coughed my soul out just a bit. I'm still a bit sick. And I'm in that phase now where you cough a lot. But it's it's disgusting, but you're not you're not dangerous anymore for people because I'm almost completely good again and that's the stage that I'm in right now how long am I recording already? <sighs> four minutes it's not that long actually it's not that long well, I also have like these two DIY, DIY faces so I just recently embroidered a jean jacket I went into a thrift store, a second hand store bought a jeans jacket, a big one, 
like so that it's oversized and um i embroidered that with like cute planets and shit and like stars and everything it looks it looks like i did it myself which i did so fair enough then i didn't know how to seal it in the back because i was like okay of course i made like double knots and everything so that nothing will pull out but you know when you wear it and stuff i was like okay you should get something to seal it i bought something and then i realized you can't just flat ironing that on which i thought that you could do that because it's basically like when it gets hot and the iron touches it it just dissolves into like glue and it sticks to the to the iron and i cannot use that then yeah i didn't read properly what is probably said so on amazon if i would have just read that but i didn't so yeah then i just used super glue on each little knot and like sealed it that way but you know super glue dries quite hard and crusty and now it's a bit scratchy on my back like i could not wear the jacket with just let's say a bikini on or something it would scratch my back open <laughs> so yeah now i have to get some sort of very thin fabric that I can use this stuff with so that I will put the stuff between the jean jacket and the thin fabric and glue this together and then yeah but I want to use something cool something that looks a bit vintagey can't be too thick because then it's just too thick yeah but um, that was something that I did I had this like I really wanted to do it and I got that and I did that now I have a like a ton of embroidery threads up there on my shelf <laughs> i bought 200 colors on amazon and i used let's say 20 of those because i wanted mostly pastel colors now i have many many more colors yeah i also wanted to diy some cosplays um like i have already formed myself with wire and aloe foil horns because i wanted to do a cosplay of persephone from um a touch of darkness i think it was and i think she has horns there or was it something else i'm not sure i wanted to cosplay persephone with horns um, and then I formed those and then I came to this stage where I would have to put something around it like some sort of clay and I have that too but that's when I got kind of like annoyed by it and stopped yeah now I have clay here also what I wanted to do what I also bought stuff for like the money that went into this like I bought um, wire and hot glue gun because I wanted to make myself wings because I just really wanted to cosplay an angel or something like that or like a harpy woman with wings and horns because I watched a cool tutorial on YouTube it looked quite easy um and so realistic and i wanted to recreate that so i bought the wire and the hot glue and then i would have had to get some feathers but uh, it's kind of expensive and so i decided to not do that yes that's how it is now the stuff is flying around here and i think the next project i will think through much better before i actually get what the hell I need for that and pay money for it because it's not like I'm rich not at all but I act like I am I live just so much 
more generously than I actually can afford. <laughs> That's how it is. I mean, I'm glad that I'm sort of realistic about this whole home improvement stuff because yes, I did paint my wall and I put stuff up and everything. But I've not gotten, well, I had it in my head already that I need wood and a saw and like, you know, to like put something on something. But I have not done that yet because I don't have the tools. And that's a good thing because the tools are expensive and the stuff that you can do with it is expensive. And so like wood, you know how expensive wood is. So, yeah. Oh, but man... And it's a plus that these walls here they're stone and that means that whenever I want to drill into them like I can't just take a the stuff that you in I forgot what it's called in English I can just take that. What's it called? I forgot. And I have to drill a hole into the wall and get these plastic thingies, stick them in there, and then that thing in there. Otherwise, it won't hold because it's just stone. And that is so much work, actually. And that's why I don't really, I'm so not motivated to do that. Like, if that was, like, a wall that I would just have to bang in some, like, uh, nails. <sighs> Especially in the ceiling. That would be stuff dangling from the ceiling here. You wouldn't even know. But because I cannot do that, that's, um, that's the thing. I cannot do that. I can't. I have to also do the same process in the ceiling. That's why there's nothing really dangling from the ceiling here. Which makes me very unhappy because I wish I had stuff dangling from the ceiling, so, yeah. Anyways, that's how it is. It's my unfortunate life, unfortunately. That's how it is. But maybe I'll move at some point and then I will get all those things done. I will ask before I move somewhere. First of all, I will ask how many families with little kids live here. Just want to know. Also, how thin are the walls? Is it more like hearing dull thump thump thump? Or is it even hearing full conversations like here? You know, and then like also what material is everything? Because I want to express myself in my, in my home. Yeah. So, we'll see about that. But it'll be some time because moving is fucking exhausting. And finding an apartment here is also fucking impossible. So. We gotta stay here. And just accept that there's no stuff dangling from the ceiling. That's how it is. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all doing good. And I hope you all enjoy summer. Let's see, who knows how hot it will be this year. They're already forecasting a very hot summer this year. This weather right now is perfect. Perfect. 25 degrees. Tops. Perfect. I don't need 30 degrees. I don't need that. Do I look like someone that goes into the sun a lot? No. So, two weeks of 30 degrees is going to be the end of me. It's going to kill me. I don't want that. Then I'll be already looking towards autumn. That's when my, that's my kind of time. Yes, that is. I love autumn. I love the leaves. I love the whole vibe. And I love, love, love Christmas.